Well, I think the, the, the world that Paul Auster creates, certainly in his books, which is what most people are known for, is a very immersive world. And I think it's also a world which is quite singular and idiosyncratic and peculiar to Paul Auster. So there are things that, that recur. There's the idea of a central protagonist who is in some way out of time. He might have slightly old-fashioned foibles. So some of the protagonists of Auster's novels, like Auster himself, they write in longhand in a notebook before then transcribing it to a typewriter. You know, this is a world which belongs in some way to the past. There isn't much evidence of computers or mobile phones. It's a kind of antiquated world. But it's also a world in which there are almost, if you like, numerous thematic motifs. The idea of a search for identity, a quest for identity. What does identity mean? There's also the idea of chance, a chance encounter between two people. Famously, in the in, in, in the New York trilogy, a phone call, which is a wrong number, which sets in place this kind of metaphysical crime thriller, uh, which is also present in the VR installation that you have here. My name is Peter Stillman. something that the books and the films do because the first line it, it and it's on the typewriter it was a wrong number that started it so it immediately kind of hooks you in in a narrative sense but it does draw you into this world that Paul Auster creates specifically in his writing I think where you go into this world and you immediately feel a part of it and it feels strange but also at the same time quite familiar uh, and I think the reason that he's so successful at doing this is he takes certain elements I mean City of Glass and the New York Trilogy is kind of described as a metaphysical detective novel and when it was released and it was reviewed people kept mentioning Kafka and I think one critic or one of his editors said that what Paul Auster had done is he'd taken Kafka and made him marketable and I like reading detective novels, but I also like existentialism. And I think what Auster does is he manages to combine both of those elements. is incredible because it just takes you physically into that world. When you read a Paul Auster book, you're kind of spiritually and intellectually drawn into the world. But what the VR does is it puts you in a very physical sense in that world. And the level of detail on this is incredible. I mean, the particles of dust, to get the full benefit, you, you, you do have to move your head around because it is a fully immersive 360 degree experience so you have to go to different areas of the room because you see different things in different areas of the room so you really do inhabit the world and it's actually a world that once you've inhabited it it feels quite difficult to come out of um, you know once you take the headset off it almost feels quite depressing and sad to be back in the world of reality <laughs> 